roughly around the edges of everything that I want to be white because once we've lost the white of the paper we can't get it back this one's going to be in shadow so I'm not too worried about this one start to find what's going to be white and what's not this is a mixture of a real and a new gamboge. If you wet something, make sure it goes right off the paper, then you don't get a halo around the outside. Just a little bit more real in there, which is cooler. Lots of pigment there, because don't forget it's going into wet, so it's going to dry at least four times lighter than it is now. Purposely didn't put any of the there because I want that more of a shadow colour and a good shadow colour for yellow is a mauve, mauve blue cobalt pilot's quite good for that lots of water lots and lots of water So we found the white daisy, it's got a yellow centre so let's just find that too. Reel in, just going into one or two of these little, I'm not sure what they're called, petal sepals and it's that join it to the petal. Changing to new gamboge once it comes towards me. Not, if there's little white bits, not worry about those too much, it adds life. This one too, just for now. Same process, just in reverse to what we did here. Right, just need to let that run away a little bit. Right. And a nice shadow colour that we talked about is cobalt violet, which is that, and a little bit of cerulean blue. Just to start and separate, because whilst these are white, clean water, picking up some of the outside edge of the yellow to bring th down so we haven't got another one of them. It's more of a cohesive picture. Put the whole thing at once. So I don't wander off and have a cup of tea at this point. Answer the door, walk the dog. because you lose that lovely freshness once it's dried and you have to start again. Now this comes into the light. I'll find the ones that are underneath. Clean water. So we're not painting a botanical study. It's the essence of the flower we want and the spontaneity of the watercolour. So this is new gamboge, just going back into that centre. See how wet this is? That's what we want. Right, let's try a little bit. Viridian. During the changes, as it starts to granulate, let's add a bit of cerulean blue. I 
around here you're thinking there's a drum there don't worry about that just lift it up with a damp brush A little bit of blue in that, I think it's ultramarine. lift in the colour a little bit. Sharpen up now to some of these edges as it's stopped moving a little bit up here so we're a bit more in control. Once it starts to granulate don't touch it. We shall interrupt the natural process and it paints naturally much better than we ever can. A bit of shadow under here. That's a little bit, it's a bit hard. But, and it's better minutes before it's done rather than two minutes after so I'm going to leave that. 